Hello, welcome. This is Light and Shadow Cinematic Musings. Tonight I will be conveying my thoughts on an artistic, dark, atmospheric film. The title of that film is Black Candles, aka Hot Fantasies, aka Los Ritos Sexuales del Diablo. It is written and directed by Spanish filmmaker Jose Ramon Larraz, and it stars his future wife, actress Vanessa Hildago. A brief bit on Jose Larraz. The filmmaker Jose Larraz, who both wrote and directed this film, was born in 1929 and died September 3rd, 2013. He was originally a comics writer, and then in 1970 he became a filmmaker with the film Whirlpool. He made many pictures in, including Symptoms, Coming of Sin, El Miran, El Periscopio, Edge of the Axe, and many others. He made his films in England, Spain, and the United States. The film Black Candles, aka Hot Fantasies, stars Vanessa Hildago as a woman named Carol, who along with her partner slash lover Robert, played by Mauro Rivera, journey to England after the sudden death of her brother Andrew. The two travelers are picked up at the airport by Carol's sister-in-law, Fiona, played by Helga Line, and are driven to a secluded English country estate. Shortly after arriving, Carol begins to suspect that there is more to her brother's death, a plot involving his widow and her bizarre group of friends. And now on to some of my thoughts about this dark masterpiece. First off, I thought that this picture had some very interesting sounds which enhanced the atmosphere. There were sound effects such as thunder, rain, the wind howling, birds chirping, ticking of a clock, and moans. Moans even heard during parts of the musical score. There were even times in the film where sound was punctuated by moments of silence. The musical score added to the film's overall ambience as well. A lot of Jose Larraz's films are very dreamlike, very atmospheric, filled with a sense of mystery. The lighting in a lot of the scenes was also expressionistic. There were shadows etched across walls, shadows of balusters imprinted on the wall, faces half lit and half obscured by shadow light framing eyes and then f and other facial features there was also under lighting which is lighting from below to create interesting shadows on the actors faces there was pretty much a lot of use of light and shadow in this picture light the lighting worked very well with the theme of voyeurism that was throughout the film people watching others from the shadows, the whole atmosphere that there could be somebody watching you from the dark corner of the room or through a peephole behind a wall. As with all of Jose Lara's films, there were many artistic shot compositions. There were many fascinating camera angles even in the sex scenes, which I probably won't be able to show you here. Here are some artistic, very unique shot compositions. There are several themes throughout this picture. The theme of secrets, especially secrets related to the past, such as Carol and Andrew's incestuous relationship prior to meeting their romantic partners. This theme of secrets was also present in the two siblings' later love affairs, the facade that Andrew and Fiona presented to the world pertaining to their marriage being full of love is shattered when Later in the film, Fiona confesses to Carol that she couldn't stand her husband, Andrew. While in Carol's relationship with her lover, Robert, there are several indications that they don't really know one another. As evident in their conversations at times and awkward such sexual interactions earlier on. This is also evident in the fact that Carol has hidden her desires for her own brother from Robert, while Carol doesn't seem totally cognizant of Robert's unconscious seemingly misogynistic attitudes about women.
The link between this attitude and his past as a priest is made explicit in a conversation he has with Carol, where he states, Maybe your sister-in-law is a witch, and you never knew about it. At any rate, when the devil tempted Eve, he found his first willing servant. At least that's what the good book says. That's why all you women are a little bewitched. It is this precise line of thinking that allows Robert to later be manipulated by the psychologically dominant Fiona, who uses all of his unconscious views to ultimately brainwash him. Other examples of the theme of secrets are also seen in the characters of John, a farmer, and his wife Georgina. It seems Georgina is having a secret affair with the stable boy Peter. Later on, as all secrets in the film, this is all brought out into the open when Georgina and Peter have sex in front of John. This leads John to threatening his wife with revealing yet another secret. Eventually, all secrets, and there are many, are brought to the light in one way or another. Power dynamics are another theme throughout this film. Many of the sex scenes are permeated with this. One such example is later in the film when after being brainwashed by Fiona, Robert rapes Carol during an at first seemingly consensual sexual encounter. Another example would be Fiona psychologically influencing Robert and seducing him in order to gain control over him. In this film, sex is dangerous. Sex is power. It evokes deep primal fears about sex. Hypnotism and the unconscious mind are very much a predominant theme as well. Black Candles, like many of Jose Lara's other endeavors, is filled with a dreamlike atmosphere. A blurring of dreams and reality can be seen as the film progresses. Carol's long-repressed desires for her brother Andrew come flooding back with the shock of his sudden death. She has a dream where she is walking through a garden. There is a soft, hazy look to the sequence giving it an ethereal quality. Outside the bedroom, Fiona is hammering on the door as the sibling's sexual exchange becomes more frenzied. Moments later, Carol and Andrew's surroundings change as we see them having sex outside in the garden. In her ecstasy, Carol looks over and sees Fiona sitting on a chair in the grass watching them have relations. The dream then cuts back to Carol and Andrew back in the bedroom, continuing their sex session. Fiona appears and puts her mouth on Carol's mouth. Carol wakes up, heads downstairs, picks up her brother Andrew's f framed photo, kisses it, and then holds it to her heart. This dream sequence displays not only her desire for her brother, but Carol's fear that Andrew's wife, Fiona, knows about their secret incestuous attraction for each other. It also exhibits Carol's concern that Fiona could insert herself into the relationship and control it. The motif of hypnotism and the unconscious mind is also apparent in the aforementioned interactions of the Fiona and Robert characters. Fiona exploits Robert's unconscious beliefs to bring him under control. Other examples of this thematic element or when Fiona gives hallucinogenic tea to Carol under the guise of a curative. The tea begins to affect Carol's mind in order to put her in a more suggestible state. Photos throughout the house seem to act as visual triggers throwing her into a state of confusion and unease, adding even more to the film's blurring of dreams and reality. The acting in Black Candles I thought was well done, especially actress Helga Lyne who plays Fiona, a seemingly charming yet psychologically manipulative and predatory woman. The film was previously available on the BCI label and is out now in a Blu-ray release from Code Red, both of which I own. So if you enjoy taboo smashing, artfully shot, dreamlike cinema, I highly recommend Black Candles, aka Hot Fantasies.
That's just my opinion. Yours may differ. Thank you for watching.